What is going on, Froze? Welcome back to another video. Today we are indeed, as you read by the title and thumbnail of the video, getting one of my dream fish that I've always wanted for this saltwater pond. I mentioned it, we've passed it, I've wanted it a couple different times, and today we're actually just doing it, we're getting it, along with another fish. That's also not cheap to do, as you know these fish cost quite some money to get. Um, so a big shout out to today's video sponsor who allowed this entire thing to happen, and right after that, we get into all the juicy content. Now you know what I love to say, enough talking, more doing. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but you get the point. Enjoy. <laughs> The NFL playoffs are here, and I have teamed up with no other than DraftKings Sportsbooks, an official partner of the NFL. They're kicking off things with a huge offer. All new customers will immediately get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you place a $5 wager. Now's the time to get in on the action. Paul, what the heck can you bet $200 in bonus bets on? Well, I'll tell you. Combine multiple bets together from the same game for an even bigger payout. If you've already signed up with DraftKings like myself, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus of back if you're same game parlay or SGPX does not hit. Now if sports betting is not available in your state just yet, don't worry, we've got DraftKings Daily Fantasy, which of course has plenty of chances to win cash prizes. Now to be honest with you, it is as simple as that. Bet $5 wager, you get $200 in bonus bets right away. The link is down below, use my code Paul Cafaro. DraftKings has been a sponsor of this channel for like three years now, I've been using them for like three years now. A big shout out to them. If you guys are into sports betting, you guys know sports, Go check it out. The link is down below. Code Paul Cafaro. Five dollar wager. Two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. Link is down below. Let's get back to the video. We're here at the aquarium shop. It's been quite some time. Oh, it looks like he might be working on something still. But I came here to get something in specific that has been preventing me to finish what I've wanted to finish for a very long time, and that is aquarium glue. I meant to say coral glue. I need some coral glue to get the fake corals glued onto the rocks inside our saltwater pond so we can just get this done with. So let's head in there, not only see what fish they got, but glue as well. Look at Buddy hiding in his anemone. Look at the teeth on that fish. My goodness. They got a bunch of zebra eels, which we have two of those in our pond. Of course, some beautiful tangs, angelfish, the whole nine yards. Some more damsels. We just got a whole school of these in one of our last videos. Look at this clown trigger. In the predatory pond, this is one of the species that I want to get. I haven't said anything about it yet, but I do want one of these. It could be a little aggressive. But it's fine because everything in that pond is going to be aggressive. Some more damsels. Always wanted a harlequin tusk. That guy. Such a beautiful fish. And along with that, we've got some bigger fish in here. It's kind of like a little tease, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't come in here expecting to get fish, but that saltwater pond could always use more color and more motion. Might be a move. Like, what is that? I've never even seen that thing before. That's crazy. He's got a good selection of fish. A lot of fox face. Look at all these fox face. One right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one over there. Another. We already have a fox face, so we try to get different species. What I will say is something that's really calling my name is that tusk right there. He's hiding behind the coral, but there's another fish in there that I really like that we might have to leave with. Check this out. A baby panther grouper. That's another fish that we're going to get for the... Per oh, he's coming up to say hello. Maybe a little bit bigger we'll get, but another fish that we're going to get for the predatory pond. Wow, this is really hard. Look at these puffers. He got a good selection of fish right now. There's a lot of fish in here. Bunch of clowns, some pajamas. We have some big ones of those in the pond. Firefish, as you can see right there, we have one of those in the pond, or two of them actually, because we took the fish in the fish tank, put them in the pond. You'll see more about that in a little bit. I've been teasing you guys about that. It's coming soon though. Tommy and I are working on the tank. We want to make it all one big video. Check out these beautiful clowns. Starfish too. Starfish is one of the things that we still have yet to get for the pond. Eventually I'm going to do it right now, not the time, and more invertebrates. We'll come and get a bunch of blood shrimp and do one of those videos for the other community saltwater tank that we might be getting fish for today, probably. We'll come do a video getting all this kind of stuff for that, that pond soon, eventually. It takes time. Saltwater just takes time. You don't want to rush the process, and I do the process a little bit faster than most people, but you don't want to rush the process to the point where you just completely kill the whole tank. I think today we might stick to just getting the glue and maybe we'll scoop up a couple fish because these fish are just so beautiful. How do you walk in here and not get these fish if there's a 4,000 gallon saltwater aquarium at your house? But before we get anything fish wise, let's, let's get some epoxy here, grab some glue. I think one bottle of glue is fine. We might need two epoxies because these corals are pretty big. Um, 
I'll stick to that. And then there's some fish over there, Andy, that are calling my name. I'll do these two here. Tusk and yeah, the tusk and the chocolate, which he's hiding, but I'll get him on video once he's out of this dang tank. I've always wanted this fish, and today's the day we're getting it. This is one of my dream fish for saltwater. Like, I could officially say that I got one of my dream fish. Talking about it for so long at Top Shelf, I never pulled the trigger, now we pull the trigger. Buddy is toasted. There it is. Wow, his colors got so much darker the second he got out of that tank. Love that sound. That means you're getting a new fish every time you hear that. And now to the chocolate tang, which is interesting because he's got a little bit of dark on him, but he's he's got more yellow than anything, so it's interesting that they name him chocolate tang. Between these two fish, one's a $200 fish and another one's $130 fish, and you know from past videos that these saltwater fish can get very expensive. So thankfully, we did have a sponsor for today's video. He is not happy. I'm excited to get that yellow in the pond, though, because we don't... We actually don't have a really yellow fish, other than the fox face, who's kind of yellow sometimes and off and on. This guy's straight yellow. Yeah, he's smart. But, not smart enough. Now we can get a good look at him since he's trapped in a plastic bag. And just like that, we've got all of our fish and our glue. I love that place. It's always a great time every time I go see Andy. Very randomly made video though. I actually just went there to get glue and I was filming just getting glue. And now this turned into actually buying one of my dream saltwater fish and along with another tang. You never really know. You'd really just never know. We're back home. Before we start putting our corals in and obviously acclimating our fish, I want to feed the fish, which is my, one of my favorite things to do. Look at this. Look at them ripping that thing. They love seaweed. I'll try to get them to come on this side. Yeah, there we go. The colors are just beautiful. And rip. They're so aggressive too. Bonk. And then obviously all the other smaller fish, which inside this pond we have. You can see them all in the back over there. They're all just kind of swimming around, but those guys eat mysis shrimp. They eat mysis shrimp. Which inside this freezer we have these right here, mysis shrimp. I take my little measuring cup and I just pop like 10 cubes, probably 10 cubes, yeah. Two rows. Then I get a little bit of water, just a tad bit like that, and let that defrost. While all these mysis defrost, as you can see they're slowly defrosting, we'll come over here and out of our bag we will grab both of our new fish. Harlequin tusk, one of my dream fish right there that's going in to acclimate. And this chocolate tang, which I don't know why it has that name. Maybe because that little bit of brown it's got on it. Um, but yeah, that's another another really cool fish that's going in for acclimating. And of course, there's all the coral. All that coral we've got to get inside the pond today. And this is all the glue I've got for that. So this could be another task. Danny's over there. I just cleaned this window. Now Danny's cleaning that window. These windows get algae pretty quick. That mice shrimp is still a cooking. It's very satisfying to watch this melt and then you pour it in and let the water just. It's a full saltwater pond type of day. So if you guys enjoy this pond, you're gonna really like today's video. And this is how it's done right here, right into the jet. It's gonna put that food pretty much everywhere and you'll see all the fish start coming out and eating. Even those yellow wrasse come right out of the sand, start eating, see that? Everything comes out. It is so dope to watch this pond. Definitely the dopest thing we've got. I could say this though, in person, it is so much cooler of an experience. I wish every single one of you could just be sitting like right here looking at it. I mean, in a way you are, but it is different. It's so much bigger in person. And anytime I've ever had anyone come to the house, they say the same thing. On video, it looks so small. When you see it in person, this pond is big. Let alone the new one that we're building over here. This is even bigger. And tomorrow we're building the frame for the window. Once the frame for the window is done, then we can paint. Right here, this is the paint, that's the epoxy. And then, uh, yeah, after that you just put your window in, the silicone it, and that is essentially waterproof. We're gonna do the rock outside and tile on the top and a lot of filtration. I still need to order, actually. I'm slacking, it's just a lot of money. But once all that's done, then we can get fish. Hopefully, this entire thing is done, I'm hoping, by the end of the month. Like, the whole thing is done. Ready for fish. I'm gonna let everything finish off their mice shrimp. You can see a little bit of seaweed floating around still too. Once everything's done, about 10 minutes from now, these guys should be close to acclimated. By the time I'm done gluing, they definitely will be. But by then, it'll officially be time for me to put these on and hop into the pond. I am a little stuffed up, you know? So maybe uh, the dip in the salt water will help a little bit. But we're about to hop in. It's gonna be quite the journey into my homemade reef. 
People say, why do you call it a reef if there's no coral? Well, now you can't say that. I'm about to install fake coral. Take that, haters. All right, I'm done. I'm getting in. <laughs> oh my God. Well, fellas, it is definitely not warm in here, I'll tell you that. Gets swished around by this UV right here. Look at that thing. Ripping. We've got our epoxy. This epoxy, oh, my hands are gonna be toast after this. I should wear gloves, but they'll just fill up with water. Grab a handful of that. From what I remember Tommy doing is he would rip it up, he would mix these two together like this. He would just mix these two together. And I believe when this epoxy hits the water, it's gonna harden. We're gonna be gluing too, so we have the glue. Put a bunch of this glue right here. Maybe I should have got more of this glue. Uh-oh. And now once this hits the water, that should just... That's where that epoxy comes in handy. Did you see how that epoxy kind of forms into the rock? That's not good. But the, the coral stayed, so... I probably should have put on like a flat rock. That's a little tough spot, but no one's gonna be pushing it. So that one might fall. There's also the practice run. Let's give this next one a try. This one right here, I don't even think I need to glue. I'm not gonna lie. This thing is so heavy. As long as I can find a spot for it to sit. I could probably do the same for this. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good so far. All right, next one. I think it's looking pretty solid, guys. I got two more corals. I'm so glad I got that done with. Woo! I feel good. It's cold, bro. It's a little stirred up. The water's not as clear as it usually is. All right, after a long process of putting corals in, our corals are finally in. We, we don't need to say that we're gonna do that any longer. I'm gonna start off with this beautiful, beautiful chocolate tang. I mean, look at the colors on that fish. He's all fired up. I mean, she's ready to go in the pond, that's for sure. Look at those fins, ready to go and get a good shot of that fish. That is one of the prettiest fish we have in here, that's for sure. And I think the Emperor Angel just takes it, takes the cake for sure. There's nothing really more beautiful than that. But this guy is pretty pretty. There it goes. Now we can get a really good view. Very, very pretty fish. See you later, dude. Into the reef where everything is hiding right now. Huh, I wonder why. Because I was just swimming. Kind of looks like there was a monster in their house. Yeah. Now, of course, one of my dream fish that I've wanted for so long. Just never pulled the trigger, but I did now. The Harlequin Tusk. That is a beautiful, beautiful. Why do you keep. You're really camera shy, aren't you, bud? I'm excited to add this one to the collection, especially because we're gonna get some crazy stuff for this pond, but this is just like getting better and better by the day. Wait till I get him out into the net. Really get a good look at him. Holy colors, bro. Look at that. Do you see that thing? Oh, he jumped in on his own. See you later, buddy. Oh, he ran away. Coral's in. Fish are in. That's a pretty productive day. And I uploaded yesterday, too, so we're posting. It's a lot to post every day. It's hard. Scrub a dub dub. Subscribe down below. Let's take one last look at what we just got. The water quality is off again, but as you can see, oh, he's right here. He's coming right up to the window. Hey, oh my goodness, that was a great shot. That was a great shot. But as you can see, the coral looks awesome. It definitely fills in those rocks really nice and neat. And then I actually put another one right over there on that rock. I don't see our chocolate tang. He's definitely hiding in the rocks, but I'm sure we will see him again. Thank you all so much for watching. I gotta go shower. Hit that like button, baby. We'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace.